At 8 o'clock, we say good morning and thank you for joining us on Waving News 10 on Fox 43. I'm Don Roberts. And I'm Katie Collette. It is Election Day in mm -hmm. Virginia. We've been speaking with the candidates for governor today. On the phone now is Libertarian candidate for governor Robert Sarvis. Robert, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. Thank you for joining us. Have you voted already and who did you vote for? I haven't voted yet. I'm going to be doing that a little later today. Uh, but I'll be voting for the uh, Libertarian guy on the candidate on the, <laughs> on the ballot. And tell us why. Uh, this has been an uphill campaign for you. Uh, your numbers have been hovering around 10%, maybe a little less. And you, why, why did you wage this campaign? Well, it's, I, I've, I've been really frustrated for a while about the quality of our public policy, both at the federal level and at the state level. And uh, especially in this race, when the Republican and Democratic parties have nominated uh, candidates who exemplify what's wrong with the respective parties, uh, I just think it's important that we have somebody uh, in the race uh, talking about the right things, which is both economic and personal liberty. Uh, that's why I chose my campaign slogan of Virginia that's open-minded and open for business. And I really want people to have somebody on the ballot that they can be proud to vote for today. Mr. Sarvis, we asked viewers on Twitter if they had any specific question they wanted to ask you. And Dwayne Pascal Jr. wants to know, if elected, do you plan on expanding Medicaid under Obamacare? No, I've, I've said repeatedly that the, you know, we have to go to the root of the problem in our health care system. And the root of the problem is all of the federal and state regulations uh, that we have, which uh, basically undermine any price transparency and push as much spending through the insurance system as possible. Uh, we, we increase costs and drive people out of the, out of, we, we, we make health care unaffordable and health insurance unaffordable for a lot of people, uh, specifically through those regulations. So uh, Obamacare is moving us further in the wrong direction of, of federalized health care regulation. And what we should do is uh, uh, return as much power to the states and uh, focus, on, uh, focus on making sure that we are increasing the number of doctors and nurses that nurses have more expanded authority uh, and that we're not um, you know, incentivizing overconsumption of health care. The state Supreme Court recently ruled that VDOT and Elizabeth River Crossings can impose tolls on two local tunnels, a big deal for us, especially folks in Portsmouth who think they'll be hurt by the tunnels. Do you agree with that ruling or should the state find a way to come up with the money to pay and should the governor push the assembly to take a vote on whether tolls should be imposed? Well, the, 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 specific, the specific tolling regime that was done on the, on the crossings is, uh, has some problems with it. But the court decision was fairly narrow about whether the tolls count as user fees. And I think that's right. I think, I think tolls are appropriately seen as user fees. And more generally, we should be moving towards a system where users pay. I mean, right, the, the transportation bill moved us away from that towards a sales tax, which people who don't even have cars are paying a, a very substantial increase in the sales tax, which is has no tie to, to road usage. So, uh, so in that aspect, I think the transportation bill's revenue raising was was problematic. Uh, you know, the you can you can you can uh, you can think that the uh, the tolling system uh, for the Elizabeth River crossings are unwise, but the court decision I think was correct. Hi, Robert Sarvis, Libertarian candidate for governor. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your very busy day to join us this morning. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much. And thank you. And count on 10 on your side to keep you updated throughout the day and night. Our Nicole Livis and Tom Shad will be on the desk all evening. Andy Fox will report up-to-the-minute results from Democratic camps. Art Kahn will do the same for Republicans. We'll also have results scrolling across the bottom of your screen.